Greetings, everybody, and welcome to your video series on an introduction to sociology. The topic for this video are class themes. Let's get started. There are three themes that will run through our entire class. We're going to start with theme one, which looks at how does society influence us and our behavior, and how do we influence society? Society impacts our behavior in many ways, from what we eat, how we dress, how we talk, what we think, even what we're going to major in in college. But we have the power to change society as individuals. After all, today's society is almost unrecognizable from previous generations. Sociology likes to take a good look at how societies change over time. For example, what is your major and how did you select this major? I'm guessing many of you are going into healthcare, either nursing majors or dental majors, radiology, sonography. There are a lot of majors in the healthcare field that students are pursuing right now. And a big reason for this is society has been sending us a powerful message recently that we need more nurses, we need more doctors, we need more healthcare workers, and we're willing to pay a good salary to these folks who are willing to undergo the training and schooling needed to undertake these jobs. Now let's turn the clock back to 1950. Imagine what a 1950s class of students might look like, and what would they likely be majoring in? Well, the students might look something like this. And chances are they're not majoring in nursing, right? They're probably going into business, uh, some sort of computer technology, early computer technology perhaps, um, some sort of trades, uh, but probably not a lot of healthcare majors. When we fast forward to today's students who are going to look more like this, we want to ask the question, how did this happen? How did we go from students who looked like this in the 1950s, majoring in things like business, to the students on the left, on the right, uh, who look like that and are majoring in healthcare and education, cybersecurity, things that didn't even exist in the 1950s. So again, theme one is looking at how does society impact our behavior and how do we actually change society. Let's go ahead and move on to theme two, which is all looking at opportunities and motivation. Richard Branson says, if someone offers you an amazing opportunity and you're not sure you can do it, say yes, then learn how to do it later. Richard Branson, of course, the Virgin Galactic guy who's sending people up into space from our spaceport up in uh, near TRC. So theme two is asking the question, who gets more opportunities in society and who are the most motivated to take advantage of those opportunities? Some people are handed enormous opportunities in life based on the family they might have been born into, whereas other people have to constantly struggle based on the family they're born into. Some people take advantage of all and any opportunities that come their way while others are always looking for the easy way out. For example, how many of you applied to Harvard before applying to DACC? Well, I'm guessing not many of you, if any of you, applied to Harvard or even thought about Harvard. Not because you don't have the smarts to succeed in a place like Harvard, but because you did not have the opportunity to apply to a college like Harvard. It takes a lot of know-how and, and knowledge to understand how to get into a place like Harvard. If your parents graduated from Harvard, there's a better, a better chance that you would be attending Harvard. But here you are at DACC, which is an excellent college, by the way. And who plans to earn an A in SOCI uh, 1110 here at DACC? If I gave all students all answers to the tests and quizzes in this class, do you think everybody would get an A? Probably not. 
Some of you would lose the answers. Some of you would not care enough to use the answers, right? You still have to have a certain level of motivation, even if you're given the answers to the test. So theme two, looking at who gets opportunities in life, who has to constantly struggle in life due to a lack of opportunities, and who takes advantage of whatever opportunities come their way. That brings us to theme three, which is the old nature-nurture debate. Are we born to behave a certain way or do we learn certain behaviors? Well, the reality is both genetics and environment play a role in who we become as individuals. But in sociology, we put the emphasis on environment. We're looking at a person's background, their family background, their history, uh, where they were born, what kind of economic situation they were born into as key factors in determining how they're going to behave and how they're going to end up in our society. So if you think about both biology and culture playing a role in determining our, determining our behavior, in sociology, the culture circle is just bigger than the biology circle. If you're taking a biology class, the biology circle is going to be bigger and your biology teacher is going to talk to you about the DNA and our, our um, genetics that make up who we are and how we're going to behave. For example, when we study twins, we know that, yes, there are lots of similarities in twins in terms of how they behave because of their nature, their genetics, they share for the most part, identical twins, the same DNA as their, as their sibling, but even their parents are going to nurture them a little bit different, causing some slight variations in how twins behave and how they think and how they come across to society, even though they're identical. So theme three is just looking at the role of genetics and environment and determining how we behave and who we become. And in this class, we're going to look at and emphasize the role of environment. We have a bonus, big three bonus themes as well in this class. There are additional themes that we're going to look at throughout the semester. And those are the role of sex and gender, our identities in terms of who we are and how we're going to behave, whether we're male, female, trans, masculine, feminine, transgender. We're also going to be looking at race and ethnicity in determining who we are and how we're behaving in our society, whether we are African American or Latino or white or Asian, Native American or a combination of various races is going to have an impact on who we are. And lastly, our big three themes uh, fall under socioeconomic status, looking at whether we're born into a wealthy family or whether we're born into a low income family and what that says about who we're going to become and our chances for success. So that's going to do it for now. Thanks for checking in. Remember, sociology is everywhere.